Before we listen to Uhuru Kenyatta, let me start by saying this. The mountain is torn between a rock and a very hard place. If they embrace Rigadi tightly, Raila Odinga is becoming strong in his attempt for a possible coalition with Ruto. In that William Ruto will need a strong voting block to replace the mountain block. So the more the mountain slips away from Ruto, Raila is becoming strong and stronger. And I know that's something that some regarding the Shagwa supporters might not like. If the mountain embraces Ruto, that again weakens Raila Odinga's bargaining power in his attempt for a possible coalition with Ruto. But then again, if the mountain embraces Ruto, they will be betraying Rigadiga Shagwa. So the mountain is torn between a rock and a very hard place. Let's now listen to some remarks Uhuru made, for the remarks are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Listen to this. Lakini ningependa kuungana na yale ya mesemwa hapa na muenzetu makamu wa rais. Tuombe inchi yetu. Tuombe amani. Tuombe uwiano kati ya viongozi na wanainchi. Tuwache mambo ya ukabila na tupendane. Sisi wote ni wa Kenya. Na Kenya haiwezi kufaulu watu wakiwa na utengemano, wakia watupiana maneno, wakiwa hawaheshimiani. Vile tumesema bishop hawaheshimu, nyinyi mutarudisha hiyo. So viongozi pia muheshimu wanainchi, watarudisha hiyo heshimu. Najua mimi sasa sikuizi mimi sina masturi mingi. Mina angalianga tu TV. <laughs> na, na kusikia radio tu. <laughs> Lakini ningependa kuungana na yale ya mesemwa hapa. Na muenzetu makamu wa rais. Tuombe inchi yetu. Tuombe amani. Tuombe uwiano kati ya viongozi na wanainchi. Tuwache mambo ya ukabila na tupendane. Sisi wote ni wa Kenya. Na Kenya haiwezi kufaulu watu wakiwa na utengemano. Wakia watupiana maneno. Wakiwa hawaheshimiani. Vile tumesema bishop hawaheshimu, nyinyi mutarudisha hiyo. So viongozi pia muheshimu wanainchi na watarudisha hiyo heshimu. Let's put all that into perspective. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. What does all that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Regardless on record saying he has made peace with Uhuru Kenyatta, and that Uhuru Kenyatta forgave him. For those who watched the whole ceremony live, Rigadi left that occasion without even greeting Uhuru Kenyatta. Ruto, Kindiki, and Uhuru were very cordial with one another, greeting one another. But Rigadi left that occasion without greeting Uhuru Kenyatta. And he never even greeted Ruto or even Kipure Kindiki. That speaks volumes. It's highly possible that regarding Ashagwa and Uhuru Kenyatta's relationship is not all that rosy as Rigadi wanted his supporters 
to know. And I won't be wrong to say him, Uhuru Kenyatta might be a very happy man today looking at what is happening politically in the country. William Ruto used Rigadi Gashagwa to destroy Uhuru politically on the mountain. And now Ruto has impeached Rigadi Gashagwa. And maybe William Ruto's punishment is also looming. So Uhuru Kenyatta is naturally a happy man looking at what is happening in Kenya politically. The gods are revenging on behalf of Uhuru Kenyatta. And the remarks by Uhuru Kenyatta can also mean he was sending a coded message to regard the Gashagwa. Stop your tribalism. And to a larger extent, Uhuru was also sending a message to the mountain. Stop your ethnic, emotional, and tribal politics. I won't be wrong to say, but from those remarks, in the event Uhuru Kenyatta has to choose between supporting regarding the Shagwa and maybe supporting the government, he can decide to support or to work with the government. He is above those tribal politics. Just because he comes from the gamer community does not mean he must work with or support regarding the Shagwa. He is above such ethnic politics. That's the very clear message Uhuru Kenyatta wanted to pass across. And then Uhuru also went further to say, Sikuizi anangalia tu vitu kwa radio na kwa TV. But he doesn't want a lot of noise. The remarks also signal that Uhuru Kenyatta might be quietly retiring from Kenya's active politics. So even if he was to make a decision either to work with Rutom or Rigadi, he'll not come out strongly expressly to state that. But he'll just be giving signals. And one of the signals I strongly believe he gave today by condemning tribalism. That's what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. And in the event Uhuru Kenyatta does not play a very active role in Kenyan politics, then that can be a blessing in disguise to regard the Shagwa and other leaders who will also come out to challenge for the mountains political kingpinship in that Uhuru Kenyatta will be seen to be passive so the people can decide to rally behind the leaders who will be actively involved in mountains politics. So Uhuru's passive activities in Kenya's politics can be a blessing in disguise to Rigadi and maybe to other leaders from the mountain who will come up. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. And before I go, in our earlier videos, we also dissected where regarding was widely cheered, Ruto was heckled. That should send a warning to Ruto and his team. They should not sit petty that they have the mountain ground. Let them go to the people. Let them persuade the people. If he sits down thinking that things are good, then he might also get a rude shock of his political life. Ruto and Kithure Kindikis, they must go to the people. They must persuade the people. And more so the mountain people. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.